she want is just a nigga that can hold her down. Tell her say she fine, treat her like a queen, then make her feel alright. She no dang care, she dang dang, she get sense. The minus two figure, but it's so gorgeous. I love the way her body looking so pompous. Cups like the waves in the sea. I swear I wanna see, cause you're my fantasy, girl. She no dang girl, yeah, she tang tang, she gets in. All that she want is just a nigga that can hold her down. Tell us that she fine, treat her like a queen. Then make her feel all ra ra ra. Yeah, yeah. Oh, ah. All that she want is just a nigga that can hold her down. Tell us that she fine, treat her like a queen. Then make her feel all right. Uh. She no dang care, she dang dang, she get sense. The minus two figure, but it's so gorgeous. I love the way her body looking so pompous. Cups like the waves in the sea. I swear I wanna see, cause you're my fantasy, girl. She no dang girl, yeah, she dang dang, she gets in. All that she want is just a nigga that can hold her down. Tell us that she fine, treat her like a queen, then make her feel all right. <laughs> You know you can't keep doing this, right? You're probably drunk. Please, I don't have the strength to go through this with you. Go home. Please. Just sober up and we'll talk tomorrow. Okay? And please, if you're too drunk, don't drive. Get a taxi. Or sleep in your car. I can't, I can't do that. Do you have any idea what it means to burn for you this badly? And be unable to do anything about it. I am suffering. I yearn for you and I ache so badly to have you wrapped around me. I cannot keep going through this with you, okay? What do you think? I don't burn for you? You think I don't want your arms wrapped all around me tonight? But I can't keep going back and forth with you. I've made up my mind. I don't want this anymore. Please, just go. We'll talk in the morning, okay? I know it's not an ideal situation, Samantha, but please here just, we are. I love you so just much. Go. I can't tell my heart what to feel. Good morning, sunshine. Wake up, wake up, wake up, wake up, wake up. Hey. Hey. What's the time and when did you get in here? You see, this is the problem I have with you. We had an appointment yesterday. I waited. I almost slept off. I didn't see you. What happened? My meeting ran very late and um, the traffic was mad. I am sorry. It won't happen again. How is Junior? Well, if you take out time from your busy schedule, you'll be able to see him and ask him how he is. Anyway, we have so much to do today. We have the pre-wedding shoot, the cake testing, the champagne testing, and all oh, the travel agents actually called to ask our destination honeymoon. See, 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 yeah, I am just too tired. I just told you how my yesterday went instead of you to sympathize with me. And you are telling me this and that. It's early morning. Besides, it's not um, 7 a.m. yet, and why are you so dressed up? Are you it's weekend? You should be in bed with me lying naked. Well, I Blair will never be caught on fresh. All I need is just to shower, make love with my woman, eat and sleep. 
And when I wake up again, I go over the lovemaking aspect again. You know how high my sexual libido is. Well, I, I can't, okay? I don't want to mess up my hair and makeup. So maybe some other time. I thought as much. You thought as... Morning. Morning. <laughs> What's happening, Anne? How did you get in? <sighs> you know, it baffles me every time you don't remember that we all have each other's keys. Oh, yeah. Or aren't you happy to see us? Oh, of course I'm always happy to see my girls. It's just it's too early. Oh, well, you were the one that called me yesterday crying and saying rubbish over the phone. And we're here to make sure you're okay. Oh, I did? <laughs> I, I don't remember. Oh, I do? I don't remember. Why are you always doing this, Sam? You know so well that you remember calling us yesterday. You always drunk dial us, saying you want to talk. And each time we get here, you start acting weird. Why are you always doing this to yourself? No, you know it's not good, but you keep doing it. Why? Girls, calm down. You're too harsh now. What is it? No, no, harsh or no. She needs to hear the truth. Stop cuddling her. She's not a child. Samantha, you are not a child. You know what is good for you? Just stop doing this to yourself. Well, Miss Kells, it's my business, not yours. <laughs> Did you hear that? It's your business. No, Samantha, it is not your business. It is our business. Your business is my business. Because guess what? I am your best friend and each time you have those meltdowns, it's me you come to. You're always crying and it gets me frustrated. I'm just saying, get your shit together. See, Sammy, see, the both of us, we are just looking out for you. Nobody is judging you. We just want to make sure you're doing the right thing yourself, okay? That's why we love you. And that's why I love girls too. It's just, it's my problem. It's mine to worry about and I'll take care of it. I told you she's not ready to talk about it. Do you know what? I need caffeine in my system. Mm. What? Sammy, you called last night and you were crying. Okay, so? So? Do you have to but kill how me? you act? Relax, that is not a therapy. You want, you... Oh, you think I've forgotten, Abby? You think I've forgotten? Where the hell were you? Don't ever get tired of nagging and being oh. plastic. When are you ever going to slow down? You look so tensed. So relax before you break down. Now you calling me a nag? And what do you mean I should slow down? We are having the wedding of the century. A wife need to revel all weddings and you ask me to slow down. Do you actually think I'm doing this for myself? I'm doing this for you. And your late father who wanted this so much. What do you think you're going to? Where? You don't need to work out on me, okay? You will not. Ryan! No problem. Hello? Babe. Yeah, yes, I'm, I'm fine. Where are you? Oh, um, yes, um, I'll let the security, let, they'll let you in. No, no, I'm okay. All right. Honestly, Chelsea, I'm frustrated. I don't know what this man wants from me. I mean, who, what, what man will actually not be excited about his wedding? <sighs> Do you know that I'm planning the wedding of the century? He should be excited. Why is he asking like I, I, I asked him to, to commit a crime that is impossible to hear of? He proposed, so why all of this? Blair, have you taken now time to ask this guy what he really wants? What does he want? Oh, you're just imposing your opinion on him. I, I don't understand. Have you forgotten that this is my dream wedding? What he wants does not, 
does not matter. It doesn't count. What I want counts. Okay? And, and why are you actually on his side? I am not on his side, Blair. I'm just saying tone it down a little. That's all. Oh, oh, you're still here. Hey, baby. I thought you'd gone by now. Well, I'm here, okay? And besides, where's Julia? Why are you always asking me this question? Look, if you agree that we should all come and stay here, you will see me regularly and you will not be asking me these questions. Anyway, it's fine. I am tired, so maybe I should just rest. Mm -hmm. Remember, we're getting married now, right? Yeah. Only time you will start living together, so I see no need for the rush. Mrs. Nadine, I don't want Junior interrupting our phone now. Hmm? I just want to be with you without our son interrupting. I want to be my baby for tonight. Huh? And besides, um, our son is with, with the nanny. She will take care of him. I don't want him interrupting my phone or interrupting my life. Okay. You don't want our son interrupting. Meaning he's messing up with your life. Let me ask you a question, Blair. Why did you give birth to him? Why did you get pregnant if all you're going to do is pass him over to the nanny? Diane, you wanted a child. And I gave you a child because I love you. Mm. Yes. And besides, I paid the nanny so much money so he, she can take care of him. Look, I don't want to fight this now. You just go to bed. Just talk, relax. You know what, um, yeah, you can have the room to yourself, the bed. I'll be sleeping in the guest room. I am, please. Brian. Brian. Brian, no. I'm sorry, but I needed to do this. I want you, but this isn't healthy for me. I can't keep falling back into the same pattern over and over again. Yes, yes, I've, I've heard that so many times and nothing ever happens. So at this point, I don't believe it anymore. What about me? What about my life? What about what I want? Why do you always have to confess? Why don't you not put me first? Like. You know what? I'm done talking about this, okay? Just, uh, I'll talk to you tomorrow. Yes, you can come by the bar if you want. If you think you're actually going to leave me here all alone again, you have another thing coming. Ryan, I don't, I don't understand. Why, why are you not excited about this, this marriage? And also this relationship itself? Blair, I really do not have the strength for your problems today. As you can see, I have an appointment to catch up with. Fine. We'll go to your appointment together. And also, there's this um, trendy bar that we're going to visit once you're done. I'll wait for you in the car. Remember that we on that beach house party? That Samantha got so drunk that she was like, everybody, I love you girls. I love you girls. I just got the shit out of I love you. We just got this. Okay, okay, enough, enough, okay. Classy drunk, okay? Oh. Uh, I'm drunk. It's just my accent that she's doing. Oh, you just let me fall. I just got the shit out of I'm supposed to have been here. Yes, that's the point. I'm actually supposed to have said take wine. Maybe you're a whiskey girl. Oh, please. Let me just manage. Let me get them to get you ice. Yes, and the open. I've been trying to do shit myself.
what is it? Oh, why is that it? I don't know why it was with spill. What is it, Sam? This looks really cheap. Did you say something? Sam! What is it? Babe, calm down. Can't you see she isn't okay? Well, there's more reason why she needs to tell us what's, what's wrong with her, right? You need to be soft. It's him. Him. <gasps> no. You mean you're dating a married man? Samantha, what is wrong with you? How can you be dating a married guy? He's not married, okay? Mm. Well, he looks married to me. He's just engaged. Plus, he doesn't love her. Hmm. Yes. He wants to break up with her. He, he told me he, he wants to do it gently so that she doesn't feel so hurt. <laughs> yeah, I know it sounds weird, but I love him. I so do. why is he here with her? He knows this is your bar, right? I don't know. I don't know why he would do this. We we're supposed to sit today and talk and he walks in here with her. How would he do that? Well, maybe he needs somebody to ask him. Calm down. Oh, Hold on, do you know them? No, no. <laughs> yeah, uh, we're here, so. No, I think somebody actually has called this motherfucker. This is my business, please. What's wrong with you? Do you drink that much? What's going on with you? Uh, are you sure you don't know these girls? Um, yes. I don't know what's going on actually, but the one. Um, um, honestly, I don't care. I honestly just want to have a good time and drink the most expensive champagne they have here because it looks really cheap. What is this motherfucker doing here? Why is this still sitting there? Looking at you like he doesn't know what is going on. These girls, they look, they look like prostitutes. Are you, are you sure this hey. is safe? No, come on. One carry, carry the bottle to one, two. I don't know. Hey. Yeah. I'm just trying to be safe, okay? Don't blame me. Come on, please. Can I have the drink? What do you want? Sam, I am sorry that happened. It wasn't intentional. You said we were going to break up with her. And then you bring her to my bar. Hey, my bar, Brian. Hey, I did not bring her to your bar. She actually brought me there. I did not even know we were headed to your bar. By the time I realized that it was your bar we were headed to, it was already too late to change the entire situation. And besides, she, she has my son. And also, I just realized that Blair is a heartless monster that she would use my own child against me. This was not the arrangement. Yeah, I know. This was not the arrangement. I know it wasn't the plan. I know. I know it wasn't the plan to fall in love with you. It wasn't the plan to have my whole existence consumed by just the thought of you. I know it wasn't the plan to crave for your torture to have sex all the time with you. I know it wasn't the plan to go to sleep and dream of you all the time. I know the plan was to comfort each other, to be emotionally available for one another, to embrace each other's want. But things changed, plans changed actually, that I can't even share you or show you out in public or share my own private space with you. Samantha, I made a promise a long time ago that I cannot even go back on. Due to some personal reasons, I wish I can share them with you, or I can't for now. Son, baby. So what are you saying? We should break up? No, that's not what I'm saying. I'm just saying that you should give me some time. That's all I ask for. Please. Baby. Son, I love you. No, I like I, I don't know what is wrong with me. I really don't understand myself anymore. He shows up and then I just forget my entire home training. I know from everything he said yesterday that we will never be together. So why am I opening my legs and the door to my heart to this guy? I love him. 
I don't know how to unlove him. Like, I don't know what to do. I don't know. He says he loves me too. But we can't be together. Because he made some promise to some person. He wouldn't even tell me who he made the promise to. And then he keeps saying he's going to leave her. And then even if he leaves her, he, didn't, he, can't, he still can't be with me. Like, it's so confusing. Like, am I going crazy? Honestly, I think you're crazy. But it's a good thing, okay? You're crazy in love and there's nothing wrong with that. But the point is, who you're in love with. This guy already told you that even if he breaks up with the other girl, he's not going to be with you, right? So don't you think you deserve better? I know, I know, I know, I know I deserve better. I know. But I love him. And I wish I could be like him. I wish I could be indifferent and not care and just... It's okay. What is going on? What's wrong okay, with me? It's okay. You, you took it. You don't need to put too much pressure on yourself, okay? You're going to get over it. Don't worry. Hey, come here. <laughs> it's okay. I don't care where you slept. I don't care where you're coming from or where you slept last night. But one thing you have to understand, but you see this wedding, it's going to happen whether you like it or not. I did not propose to myself, you did. I didn't get myself pregnant, you did. We were high school sweethearts. So whatever this is, get your shit together. I don't have your strength this morning. It's too early. Okay, fine. Sleep. Take a shower and eat. Because in three hours, the photographer will be here. And you can't be late. Okay, I won't be late. So, come out here at least. Settle in and maybe sleep. That's your father's business. Excuse me. Oh, gosh. Girl, why are you doing this to yourself? You are clearly in love with this girl, and yet you treat her like she's nothing. You even went as far as telling her that even if you and Blair break up, you guys can be together. How do you want her to feel? See, guy, guy, I, I don't know. I. I can't even explain this myself. I am even scared for my own self. It felt as though I am committing an atrocity. What will my late father feel in his grave right now seeing all of this? So, excuse me. What's this? What's that? What's the meaning of this now? No, no, no. Explain this to me. But what's the meaning of this? We had an agreement to release these pictures next week. So, why are these pictures out? What am I going to say to Samantha right now? Only to the fact that I told her that I was done with the relationship and now this is going to contradict things for me. How do I explain this situation to her? What's wrong with Blair? Why is she just so selfish and self-centered? You know what? It's fine. Go and sort this out. Come on. Go, 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 go. I'll be fine. Just look at it. What? Look at the rubbish. Look at Brian. Wow. You know, wait, let me read the caption. He's a love of my life. Will be not no more this year. What? What? Sammy. Why are you crying? Oh my God. What? Sam. Sam. Yeah, you know, Sam, Sam, please. I can, I can Listen to me. I don't like you. I don't like your scruffy face. I definitely do not like your lying, cheating boss. And I don't mind ripping them up and feeding them to your dumb skull if it makes you understand what I'm about to say right now any better. You see? Samantha, she has nothing to say to you. And it will do all of us some good if you turn and go back to planning the shadiest wedding of the century. What do you think? Brian, you heard what she said. Leave. Sammy doesn't want to talk to you. What's your problem? Leave. No, you guys, please, let's not fight. Please, Kel, let me just speak to him for a minute. And no, 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 don't even say that, Samantha. You Sammy, are not going to speak to this idiot. He's going to turn his back and leave this place in peace. Sammy doesn't want to talk to you. Samantha. What is it? Sam, Sam. Guys, it's fine. Let me just, let me just talk to him for a minute. Sammy! Please. No, 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 Samantha. 
It is not fine. And you are not talking to this idiot. Girls, girls. Please, please. Eva, can you please get Samantha's bag and leave this place? Please, I can explain it. So what's it? You think your bigger can't push you? Rubbish. Sass is tough or nothing. Rubbish. I want to beg. Let's go. Go and get her bag. Let's go. Sorry, please. Let's go, let's go. Go and get her bag. Where did you keep her bag? Blair, I thought we had an agreement not to post the pictures yet. Instead, you sent them to the blogs without even informing me. Why? Why are you upset? Why shouldn't I be angry? I don't understand. It's our wedding. And it's getting close. And we are a celebrity couple. Everything has to be paying. Anyway, I bought your son because you've been acting moody. I thought that would cheer you up. Huh? Brian, these pictures are fine now. Hmm? They're fine. You should consider yourself lucky to be rolling with a super socialite like this instead of criticizing her. Junior, come, come, come. Wait, wait. Where are you going with my son? Point of correction. Our son. And I've had it with you, detecting what happens in our son's life. As you can see, he's also my son and I am taking him out. Fine. Just make sure you buy something for me when you're coming. Coco. Go, go. Bring something for me when you're coming back, oh. Hmm? I think you need to change your approach. This guy is really angry. He'll be fine. Once he's done getting upset, he'll come back home. He's a... He's my baby. Greg, can you continue answering people that are... that are hailing us here? So when you get there, don't forget to greet you. Okay, let me see if you're going to the Okay, that's her. Samantha has told you that she wants nothing to do with you. So, coming here with your incredibly cute son is not going to change that. I know you and Eva must hate me so much. Right. Please, can you give me like a minute to talk to her? No. You've had all the chances to talk to her, but what did you do? Nothing. <laughs> Honestly, I don't understand what Samantha is still doing with you. I mean, you've told her that even if you broke up with Miss Socialite, you're still not going to be with her. So what she's still doing with you is something I will never understand. I mean, I don't get it. Samantha is beautiful. She's rich. Any man would be lucky to have her in his life. It's you not a thing her. about beauty. Don't you think I want to be with her? Of course, I am lucky to still have her in my life. But the thing is that I... I made a promise. Bullshit! Bullshit! That is what we keep hearing. That is what you keep feeding her. A promise. A promise you have refused to talk about. Huh? Do you know what? Just forget about her, Brian. Because I will make sure she forgets about you. You are no good for her. Just look at you. You're ruining her. She deserves more. Samantha deserves a man who will love and adore her. And you are definitely not that man. Hi. So cute. But should I let me speak to him for at least a minute now? Sam, do you know I love you, right? But this, this is insane. How are you even in love with a man who won't get over his fiance? Huh? A man who won't show you off? He's only comfortable coming into this room when he's honey to sleep with you. Huh? I love him. Mm-mm. Uh Mm-mm. -uh. Uh -uh. You're not in love. You've been digmatized. And my darling friend, I sprinkle you with the blood of Jesus. You're going to get over it and create way for a sensible, responsible young man who will love you and worship you. No, I'm not ready for all that yet. Please. Uh, wait until you see who I'm about to hook you up with. <laughs> see, Sam, you are only permitted to mourn this good radiance of a relationship for one week. And after then, we are back to the street, girl. Smile. Smile. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you look tired. Have you even showered? Mm -hmm. You stink. Let me get some food into your system. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
hungry. Samantha, go and shower. <laughs> Get up. I can see you. Because Kelsey is here, and I promised not to call you on the phone. In fact, she seized my phone. I had to beg and promise before she gave it back to me. If only we can see, I promise you, I will tell you everything. I am so sorry you had to say that before I was able to talk to you. Brian, we can talk on the phone, okay? I don't feel up to seeing you right now. Besides, I think we need a break. Since you cannot break up with her, and you can't be with me either. I think it's so selfish of you to want me to be in limbo forever. It hurts like hell, but you should go work on your relationship with your fiance. That was before I fell in love with you, Brian. It's just, it hurts that we both love each other. And, but you cannot get yourself to make a decision. So I'm making it for you. <sighs> he came to the house last night, Kels. Again. I have screamed, I have begged, I have even locked him out. But he won't stop coming. Or at least just... Leave me alone. You see, Sam, you know I don't like this guy, right? But if there's one thing I admire about him is his confidence. Honestly, he doesn't look like one of those guys you just say, go away, and then he will just vanish. He looks very stubborn. What do I do? What do I do, Kelsey? I can't live my life like this forever. Then get a boyfriend. Yes. You are always available, right? When he goes to your house, you are there. When he comes here, same thing. That's because he can assess you. If you get a boyfriend, you'll no longer be available and he will give you some space. No. Thanks. I don't need a boyfriend now. I'm trying to get rid of one man. And you want me to add another one to the mix? No, 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 Sam. You are trying to get rid of a nuisance. And I am telling you to get a man. That's not the same thing. Those are two different things. So how, how do I go about it? Leave that to me. Hmm? You see, that is where your friend comes in. You know I don't. You, you. Chill, chill. Leave that to me. What's wrong with you now? Man, man, I am just distracting. Can you believe he asked her out on a date? And she said yes. Okay, what were you expecting? I mean, you both are in love. She doesn't hide the fact that she's in love with you. But I mean, you've been stringing her along. Come on. At some point, she has to move on with her life. Since you don't want to claim her. See, man, you of all people should know better. I still don't know why you don't want to tell this girl the truth. It's not that deep. I mean, you have to let her go if you know you're not going to marry her. It's bad enough that you're stringing two women along and then you're here feeling bad that one of them is already tired of your bullshit. Are you kidding me? My bullshit? Really, Oliver? What side are you on here? I'm on your side. But I still need to tell you the truth. You need to let this girl go. She has finally made her decision. Just let her go and try to make things work out with Blair. Tell me everything. How was your date last night? Hmm? Was it 
fun? Did you like him? Did you guys kiss? Hey, slow down, Tiger. No, um, spill already. <laughs> well, I had fun. Right? Yeah, it was actually fun. I can't believe I had this amount of fun. No kiss? And no, we didn't kiss yet. Yet? So that means there's hope for him, right? Mm, I like him. Oh. I want to stick around a little bit to see if there's anything there. Oh. <laughs> Although so brand eh? and it seemed like he wanted to beat Michael up. Look, he can go beat up himself for all I care. Hmm? Mm -hmm. He can even kill himself if he decides to. This guy had a chance to make you his queen, but what did he do? Now someone else is here and he wants to beat the person up. Is he mad? Don't even bother about him, okay? Just tell me. And next time you see Michael. Soon. Very soon. Really, thank you. This was nice. I know, right? Best in hook up. <laughs> Lovely <laughs> truly. <laughs> <laughs> How was your date last night? Are you stalking me, Brian? How did you know how they did last night? I am not stalking you. I have my ways of knowing what goes on in this town. Well, if you must know, my date was fantastic. I had so much fun. I want you to stop seeing him. He's not good for you. How dare you! How dare you try to tell me who I should see or who I shouldn't be with? You lost that right a while ago. You hear me? Listen, you can stop me all you want. Research him all you want. I don't care. And it's not going to stop me from having the next date with him. As a matter of fact, I'm going to fucking seal it tonight. So now that you have more information, please leave. I'm sorry. Leave! Please! Get out! Hey baby, how was your day? You look very stressed. Oh yeah, my day was a bit stressful, yeah. but I'm fine. Before I forget, I called my parents and I told them that we are coming over this weekend. They really miss their grandson. Hey, babe. You should have asked me first. I won't be available for this weekend. Not to talk about of traveling. So what do you want me to do? Call them and cancel? Um, maybe you and Junior should just go. I cannot afford to miss uh, a business meeting I have. You wouldn't miss the business meeting that you have this weekend, but you would miss my parents' hangout. Huh? What is more important? This or my parents, I was going to my parents' place. You have changed, Brian. Honestly, you have changed. You, you're not interested in this relationship. You're not interested in the wedding plans, nothing. What is going on? Is there somebody else? Are, are you cheating on me? I don't, I don't know what to think because honestly, you're not even touching me. You've never... Anymore. Because I don't know who you are anymore. Yes, I know that you're cold and unfeeling. Yeah. Since we got engaged, a lot changed about you. You nag a lot. You are emotionally unavailable. That sometimes before I wake up, you're already dressed and all made up. Like, I don't even know who you are anymore. All I see is a plastic version of the lady I met and fell in love with. You no longer care about anyone but yourself. All you do is just look out for anything that interests you. You barely have time for me or Junior, your son. Maybe, well... So explain that. The only interest you have here is the societal big wedding thing or pictures, news you want to feed the blogs with. And to be honest, it's really off-putting. Maybe this word now is about content, too. 
Honestly, and this is who I am. Yeah. So you have to take me the way I am. Oh. Okay. But that, was, uh, that, that does not answer the question. You used to be a very sexual person. Yeah. What changed? You cannot go a day without touching me. Now you don't even look at me. Eh? Oh. Uh, wait, wait, why are you touching my hair now? Relax now. I, I don't understand. Do you know how much I did this hair? This hair is thousands of, of naira. You, 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 want, you want to spoil it? If I think you should go straight to the front and, and find the hole. The hole is in my head. And you complain that I don't to touch you anymore. Why are you touching you my head? Complain. It's so my... how do I start without touching your hair? My my hair is not where the hole is. My hair. So what about my, the four place? Which 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 place? When you have a lot of hair, I'll just go straight to the point. Yeah, that you... won't build up. Please, not touching my hair or removing my wig now. Then ah. how can I make it work when you when you when you when you you refuse to even give give yourself up to me? Hey, All you care about is the event or the paparazzi picture you want to paint out there. That's all. You are not always available, Blair. <sighs> You're selfish. Uh -uh. And at this point, I, I I I can't continue with this anymore. Wait. How about you just take a break? Yes. How about you just go spend some time with your parents and Junior? Wait, wait. Are you trying to break up with me? Don't try it. Honestly, do not try it. Small place. I say go to the point. Don't go to, in, in the backyard. You now want to go and break up. Wait, wait, babe. See, honestly, this is not funny now. Come on, think about it now. Before you had anything, I was here. I, 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 I literally suffered with you. I drank Gary with you. Point of correction. When we both had nothing. Uh -huh. Now that I have money, I made you the society princess that you are today. My money made you who you are. So don't you even dare come with the emotional bullshit blackmail. Wait. Oh, yeah. Because I'm not having it. Okay, sorry. Let's go straight. Sorry to... for yourself. Don't don't touch my head. Just go straight. Keep to your the... head to yourself. Add extra one to it. Uh, you pay for it now. I don't even want this one again. But where are you now? Oh yeah, baby. See, I'll pack the air up. You you do from there. Oh, Brian. Gosh, Brian! We just had a whole discussion on space and boundaries. What the hell are you doing in my house by this time of the night? Yes, I know, Sam, but I just want to be with you. I am sorry. I promise to let her go. As a matter of fact, I have done that already. I just want to be with you, please. Well, it's too late. Please leave. I have moved on with my life. Sam, are you really asking me out of your house? Why? Is it because of him? Is he here? Is this the reason why you don't want me to? I, I, I swear I'll kill him. You have no right over who I'm with or who I'm not with. You sprung along with a whole fiance. Some of them, we had an agreement which was okay by you. So stop making me sound like I am the bad guy here. Besides, I did not ask to fall in love with you. Well, it happened. And as a daughter, I have to deal with it. I am no longer comfortable with being your secret lover. Okay? I have found someone who loves me. Absolutely loves me. Please leave. Brian, go! Just go, please. Some of that. I'm done with her, some of Le that. Please leave. Some of that, some of that. I love you. Queen, I, wait. I, I love you. Wait. Are you okay? Who was that? Um, I'm fine now. It's nobody. It's clearly somebody if they're making you cry like this. Tell me, was it Brian? How do you know about Brian? So I'm right. Who was he doing here? I thought he was engaged to get married. <laughs> yes, he is. But it's nothing. We just had to sort some things out. Can we just not talk about him? Brian, I don't understand. You've changed. Honestly. 
you used to complain about my character, but now you complain about everything. What is going on? I have said this over and over again. I don't know how else you want me to explain it to you, but you refuse to listen. How can our marriage survive if my wife-to-be cannot listen to me? I just explained to you the reason why I cannot travel with you. But instead, you want me to abandon everything that I am doing to travel with you. How selfish of you. All you think of is yourself. You don't care about the next person. Let me even ask you, when was the last time we ever sat to have a conversation together? To get intimate, to bond, to chit-chat? When? Oh, I try to touch you. You tell me, oh, your hair is your makeup, your blah, blah, blah. All you care about is your societal high standard. But I even got depressed at some point, but you refuse to pay attention. You don't even care about my own emotions. Like I don't even know who you are anymore, Blair. And I cannot continue to do this with you. Wait, so what are you, what are you saying? Wait, you... <laughs> you want to break off and call off our, our engagement? You will not dare. You will not embarrass me like that. I've invested so much in this relationship. I don't know what you're saying. Honestly, I don't. What I am trying to say is you find yourself another rich man to marry you. If you're actually serious about this, Brian, I will take your son and you will never see him again. <laughs> Good thing you said he's my son. And if you dare deny me access to him in any way, I swear, Blair, I'll fight you with everything I've got. Brian, and before I come back, I don't want to see you here anymore. Brian! Yes. Baby, be oh. oh. Look, I can confirm he's cheating on me. I don't understand. What exactly do, do men want? Look at me. I'm a speck. Any man would, would, would be happy to have me. So what is his problem? Look, you need to calm down. Calm down. I mean that you saw them arguing doesn't necessarily mean he's dating her. No, Brian is cheating on me with that girl. When I, when I saw her at the bar, I just knew something was off. If Brian actually thinks he's going to leave me for, for that idiot, he has something else coming. Hmm. See, we'll go to that bar. Mm -hmm. We'll go to that bar and meet that girl. She doesn't even know what's coming for her. Huh? What do men even want? See, we will let Brian know what he's missing. Hmm? No, he, he said I should leave his house. Yeah. What, what do I do? Leave which house? See. You, we will go to that bar. When we come back, you will go home, get Junior, his bags, everything. Come here. Let me see how he will chase you out of his house. I knew there was a reason why we were friends. See the way he came up with a solution just like that. Thank you. I got you. You know what? We're going to that bar to go and meet that idiot. <laughs> what? You need to take a deep breath. Sit down. If, 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 if Brian thinks that he's going to leave me for that thing. Claire. Huh, here's another thing coming, though. Another thing coming. Are you <clears throat> I can see you know who I am, madam. No, I don't think so. Liar. Oh, don't worry. I can take it from here. My name is Blair. I am Brian's wife. Okay. What does that have to do with me? Well, you want to act dumb and stupid? Look, I will not have you walk into my bar and insult me. <laughs> if you have issues with your husband, I suggest you go back home and sort it out with him. Because I am not any nobody girl you can walk up to and intimidate as much as you like. So please, 
Leave. No, oh, we'll leave your bar. But let me make something very clear. I will kill you if you try to mess with my husband. You see, I have a son for him and I'm carrying another one as we speak. So I will be damned if somebody like <laughs> you mess everything I have worked so hard to build with Brian. So I will suggest that you tread very, very, very cautiously. Wait, Samantha, let me get something straight. You mean she walked into this bar mm -hmm. with her two left legs and threatened you? It's like, I don't understand. Why didn't you call us immediately, Sammy? I would have used one button and removed her teeth. What kind of nonsense is that? Girl, what do you think? Yes. Of course, with my help! <laughs> really, you girls, there's nothing, seriously. She's honestly not that threatening, honestly. She's just like one of those noisemakers. I handled her. It's mm. nothing. She's not even my problem. What I'm actually worried about is she came in here because of Brian. How did she know I had anything to do with Brian? Well, it's not fair, so. Ah, she says she's pregnant. What? Really? Yes. I knew that boy was just a scum. So you mean he was here lying to you that he's going to move on from her? And then he was over there sleeping with her and even getting her pregnant? Gosh, I'm so glad you moved on from that boy. You have no idea. See, enough of this Brian, Brian, Brian thing. What's up with you and your wife, Mr. Hanson? Oh, about that. We're fine. We're doing great. We're still trying to, you know, like, get much used to each other. But apart from that, no complaints. <laughs> but then Brian, in his full glory, barged into my house the other night while I was chilling with Michael. What? I am not even kidding. Of course I threw him out. But then again, I didn't have any reasonable explanation like to explain what the hell happened, you know? Like, I don't even know how I managed to change the discussion. But then he said something that really concerned me. What was that? He seemed to know much about Brian. The fact that he's engaged and that we dated. And I intend to find out. Because it really worries me. Because I need to speak to that Brian. So he can stay away from me with his pregnant ass girlfriend or fiance, whatever. Exactly. That is the right energy. That's the right thing to do. Um, Sammy, see, in as much as I know you want to do this. I mean, you and I know that you're still in love with this guy. And he might come up tomorrow with another reason or excuse. And because you're still in love with him, you might fall back into the same pattern. No. Kel, what do you think? I'm just going to talk to him and that's it. Come on, Sam. We all know how many times you have spoken to Brian and nothing has changed. So you know what? This time around... This conversation is not going to happen except either me or ever is around. Yes. And that's it. No, you girls, you're really overreacting. No, it's nothing. I'm going to speak to him because I have to speak to him. And that's it. Like, for the last time. Mm. I'm serious. Sammy, there's no conversation and that's fine. Oh, please. I got this. I can handle it. Who do you think you're talking to? It's me. I got this. <laughs> no, no, I'm going to. <laughs> I'm just going to talk to him. No. So your wife came here today to want me to stay away from you. What gave her the impression that we're dating? I did not know how she found out actually that we were dating, and um, she coming to your bar is something that I cannot explain. I already told her I was done with the relationship. God, there you go again with your lies. Please. You keep lying. <laughs> You keep saying you're going to break up with her. But not, nothing ever happens. If you broke up with her, how come she's pregnant? What? Preg what? Wait. Pregnant? See, see, I, I, I may be a liar or all sorts of things. Yes, I know that my sexual libido is very high. I love sex a lot. But at this point in time, I am telling you the gospel truth. I cannot even remember the last time I touched Blair not to talk more of getting her pregnant. Look, Brian, I don't care, okay? I have moved on with my life. 
and I would love for you to inform her that I have nothing to do with you. Because she can be, she's desperate and she can do anything. And I don't want problems, please. Have you really moved on? Have you? Is it because of him? Can he drive you crazy like I do? Can he make you wait in like five seconds? Can he make you mourn and yearn for my torch? Can he hit the spot? Like I hit the spot anywhere, everywhere. You know how I do it. Can he? Yeah, I know you must be upset with me and um, I really love you. All I ask for here is just another chance to prove myself to you. Yeah, I know I've been holding back for quite too long and I am willing to tell you everything, the promise. I will tell you everything this time around. Please, Samantha, I cannot do without you. Even in my office, I think about you everywhere. I am literally distracted. Please. I have to go. Samantha, Sammy. Oh, Blair. Oh, my father. Promise. Ah. I like your shirt. Thank you. I bought it with my money. Huh? That's it. That is back. I thought you wanted to send me out. Send me out with your son now. Rubbish. I'm not going anywhere. He will. See, 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 please. Bless, bless, just stop, stop. Stop, I beg. I told you that I'm no longer interested anymore. I thought that before I left the house, I said I don't want to meet you here. So what are you still doing here? Instead, you had to bring in Junior and his things here, thinking that that's going to change my decision on things. Uh, Blair, not only did you stop there, you had the guts to go to Samantha's bar. Not only did you confront her, you had to tell her that you were pregnant. How long, petty of you. Wait. You're cheating on me with, with Samantha. Brian, I have never cheated on you. And you do this to me. I am sorry that I cheated on you and um, it's something that I am not proud of. <sighs> you know what, Blair? This is not the right time to talk about this. I am literally tired. Please, can we talk about this in the morning? Shouting is not going to solve all of this as Junior is deep asleep. I hate you, Brian. I hate you so much! Thank you. You can go to hell for all I care! She stormed out of the house this morning. After I told her that I was done with the relationship, that I can't continue, that I wanted to move out before I embark. And not only did she confront Samantha, she had the guts to tell Samantha that she was pregnant with my own child. Like who the freaking hell does that? And me getting back to the house to meet her, not only did I meet her in the house, but this time around she had, she, she had moved in with my own son, Junior, thinking that's going to change my stand on my decision. But I was hell-bent on it, telling her that I was done with the relationship. Then she stormed out of the house angrily this morning. See, guy, calm down, okay? I can see very well that you're unhappy with Blair, but you wronged her. How? I mean, you kept her engaged and you were sleeping with another woman. See, she has every right to be angry, okay? But you have to appease her. 
Yeah, I, I know, but where do I even start from? I used to love this girl with everything in me. Then the money came in and she became everything that I never wanted in my life. I engaged her because I felt like it was the right thing to do. Knowing that she already has my child, plus me wanting to please my father. But the truth here is that I am in love with Samantha. And she's the one I want to be with. See, first of all, find Blair and then appease her, do whatever you have to do. And then pray to God that it's not too late for you and Sam. Okay. But this is the part where I'll be needing your help, Oliver. At least I can't confront Blair with the way she left the house this morning. And I'll be needing your help to talk to her for me. At least clear the road for me before I can approach her. Because I really need to sort out things with her before going to Samantha to plead. It's fine. I'm going to give her a call and then I'll get back to you. You good? Yeah, good. All right. Thanks, bro. No problem, I got you. No problem. It's just a nigga that can hold it down Tell us that she hey. fine Treat her like a queen Then make her feel all right it's absolutely stunning Thank like, you <laughs> What the <laughs> fuck? You know what? I cannot wait to show you off at the party later today I'm such a lucky son of God <laughs> Like You know what? You don't just <clears throat> Sit properly like a work of art I want to take a picture of you And put on my status Oh my and, uh, Take note, this is just like the first picture for the whole day because I'm going to flood my timeline with your pictures and I don't care what anybody has to say. Fine, when you say it like that. <laughs> uh -huh. Give me that beautiful <laughs> smile, baby. <laughs> God damn, oh, babe. You look so perfect, <laughs> Thank you. Oh my God. I'm really sorry that this is happening. Honestly, I don't know how, how Brian just changed like that. I mean, he's changed a lot. So the fact that he's, he's even cheating on me. And yes, I confirmed it because I followed him and I saw him. See, he's sorry that he hurt you. But he's in love with her. What? What, what, what is the lady giving him that I'm not, and I'm not giving him? What does she have that I don't have? See, Blair. In as much as he messed up, I feel you should also accept some of the blame here. I mean, you guys were madly in love with each other when there was no money. And suddenly everything changed when the money came. You barely had his time. You always nagged him for every little thing he did. And he almost even committed suicide and you were not there. I mean, he found solace in Sam. You have every right to be angry. Okay, but I feel you guys should talk about this. I mean, come on, you guys have a child together. He, 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 he was depressed. Why didn't I know about it? Why did he tell me? I think you should talk to him to explain more. Um, yeah, I think I should talk to him, but I don't know where he is. I've been calling him. He's not been answering my calls. Um, I think he's at home. I think he's at home, yeah. See, in as much as... He doesn't want this relationship anymore. He still cares about you. He doesn't want to hurt you. Okay, I'll just put myself together and go talk to him. Please, it's fine. Um, I just want you guys to be happy, that's all. Thank you. It's no problem. It actually feels good to see you without heavy makeup. Is that why we're here? You want to talk, so I'm listening. Yeah. I am sorry, Blair. I truly did love you, but along the line, I fell out of love because I couldn't put up with most of the things I stayed with. To be honest, I love some of that.
और वह सेट दैट टर्म और वह सेट दैट शो अ बैटली विद डिप्रेशन Why didn't you say anything? When you paid little or no attention to me and my emotions, <laughs> all you do is to think of yourself. It got so worse that I almost um, took my own life. How did you two meet? At our bar. During one of my mental breakdown, I would go there to just cool off and then ease off because you weren't emotionally available to me. Then Samantha would come up to me and um, sit with me, engage me, that she would fill up that void. I did not believe that a stranger could talk me out of my situation. And she knew about me. How stupid I was trusting to her about thinking that I owned the world. Trust me, you're not stupid. Do not talk down on yourself like that. Situations just um, happen and that. Um, I fell in love with Samantha, which I am not sorry for. But what I am sorry for is um, me hurting you in the process. I hurt you so much. Yes, I know. So please forgive me. This is this is a lot to process right now. I I need space. Would you mind taking Junior for some days? I just need to go back to my parents' house and just think. Yeah, sure. Without thinking twice, <laughs> Jenny has my own son, so why not? You can take all the time you need. Jenny will be safe with me. Say, babe, I understand you. But you should have told me earlier before we went this far. Okay? I'm sorry. Okay? It's just... <sighs> I'm sorry I didn't tell you about my past. But I feel really repulsed having sex with you on the same bed. You know, you came into my life with so much genuine love and you made me realize that I deserve more than the crumbs he was willing to hand out to me. So, I don't want to do this here. It would really be an insult to the love that you have shown me. What do you think? No. Mm -hmm. For a moment I was scared. But I'm, I'm really grateful, I'm happy that I have you all to myself and I thank God that Brian did not see the queen he had in front of him. If you want to burn the bed, <laughs> <laughs> we can burn the bed. Yeah, so you should just go ahead and burn it right, right now. Well, let's go ahead. <laughs> no, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. I'm just going to redecorate. Okay. So let's spend the night in the guest room. As long as my queen is fine, what am I to say? No, let's go. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go. Okay. <laughs> and please do not leave anything out of it. Love or God. Just look at her. She can't hold the smile. Like she's just Sam talk. <laughs> Don't keep us waiting. But like seriously. I'm happy. I'm happy. I'm finally with a guy who absolutely loves me. And he's not afraid to show me off. Like, I literally know all his friends. He like he takes me out at every given time. There's no hiding, no games, no hanky panky or anything. 
I'm happy. <laughs> like I'm really happy that you are happy. You know, you deserve all the love and the attention and the happiness you are getting. No, for yeah. real, for real, Sam. You deserve I'm, it. I'm really happy for you. <laughs> oh, thank you so much. It's just Brian. He won't leave me alone. Like, he practically stalks me now. He calls me every hour. Like, even when I'm with Michael. Are you serious? I'm telling you, I, I'm just so glad I was... I had to open up to Michael. Because he called me at 2 a.m. What? Yes. 2 a.m. What's the meaning what? of that rubbish? Is he okay? I don't understand. He doesn't... Is he mad? He doesn't love you. He doesn't want you to be happy. And now he doesn't want someone else to make you happy. Because he's an obsessed prick. So what are you going to do about it, Sammy? I don't know. I've agreed to meet him. What? Yes. Let me just hear him, you know? And then closure. I, I need to speak to him. Closure? Yes. I'm just going to make it very plain to him that I'm with someone else now. Wait, no. Sammy. No, no, no. Don't do those eyes. No, he's Look not at me. a good one. What are you doing? Do you think this is a good idea? How is Michael going to feel about this? Exactly. He'll be okay. I just need to talk. I need to, if I don't talk to Brian, he might just get out of hand. Well, if it's closure, you give him closure and give yourself closure too. I mean, it's just closure. Nothing more. Closure. Thank you for agreeing to see me. How is Samantha? Don't worry about Samantha. Samantha is doing just fine. Brian, this is not about Samantha. This is about me and you. Hmm? Oh. I'm here to talk and you're here to listen. Yes. Okay. You see, Samantha loved you with everything inside of her and you took her for granted. Yes. You hid her away like some ugly family verse lied to her, always telling her you're going to get done with Blair, but no. You kept lying to her and stringing her along. And now she's finally moved on and you have the guts, the effrontery to keep bugging her. <sighs> Michael is such a fine, gentle man. He's everything you will never be, not even in your next world. Yes. And so if I see you if I see you one inch around her again, trying to spoil what she's just started with him, I will deal with you. She said you want to talk, right? You want closure. So here is the deal. You're going to go there. You guys are going to have this little talk and you'll get your closure. Did um, what Samantha send you to come tell me this? She loves me. <laughs> But what's that his name? Um, what did they call him again? My, my what? Michael is going to do nothing about that. Oh. Yeah. Do you know, it's your, it's your disgusting confidence for me. I just wish I'm going to be a fly, you know, so I can hang on that wall and see your scruffy face and how pathetic it will look by the time Samantha tells you for the last time that she's done with you. And let me tell you something. Don't you dare stalk her. If I see you stalking her or bothering her one more time, I swear to God, I will deal with you. Yes. If you like, look at me. They look me like I'm small. I go deal with you. I go run into you. Rubbish. How are you? I'm 
I miss you. And if I have anyone to hold you, this can I hold you? Brian, please. You came here to talk. So let's talk. Yeah. Are you aware that I love you so much? And I am sorry that I couldn't do much about it. I actually made a promise to my late father on his deathbed that I will have nothing to do with any woman who runs a bad business, restaurant or hospitality business of any kind. Same to what broke him, actually. <laughs> Why would you do why would you there must be a reason you do that? Yes, there is. Ah, welcome, my son. Why ah, is he sleeping? Vivian, where are you coming from at this time of the night? Please, I don't have strength for this drama this night. I want to sleep. You ask me where am I coming from? I've been at the shop standing still. Didn't even come to check up on me. Didn't even come there to help me. You're asking me where am I coming from? What this is your bad business. It's really getting to my head. <sighs> for crying out loud, this business is not even enough reason for you to behave like this. <sighs> you leave the house in the morning. I'll come back whenever you like. You barely even have time for your family. You barely even have time for, for your son. I was at your shop before you come back home. The girl said you went out with this husband. Vivian, are you not sleeping with your customers? Please, I want to go and sleep. I need to rest. Vivian. Oh, thank God you are back. Okay, so I saw your bags packed in the two bags. Thank God you saw it. Ah, hey, all these kick against this is your bad business. And each time I tell you, these are the names you are giving me, you say no, it's just my names. So you've been sleeping with your customers. See the way you are even talking. Please and please, I'm done with he's staying in this house. I'm leaving. Thank God you saw two bags here. I'm leaving. He's waiting for me, safe. I'm just here wasting my time. Oga, okay, I'm leaving this house. So I cannot stay here with you alone. Every time I'll be spending money. What the bills in this house? I'm the only one taking care of it. So when I was taking care of you in this house, you did not know. All this big business you're doing, I was the one that gave you money for this business. With my little civil servant's money. Look at how you are. Yet, yet, you still have the gods. You are cheating with your full chest. Can you even hear yourself with your civil servant's money? How much are you even collecting? Even if you want to cook soup in this house, I know how much you, you, you will give me. I'll still add up to it. You are telling me that this thing. Please, I cannot continue like this. Please, I'm going. So, who is going to take care of our son? What is going to happen to Brian? Ah, Vivian. Do you even have remorse? Do you even have conscience? Can you even hear yourself? Look at the way you are talking. Who is going to take care of our son? Is he not your son? Is he not your son? If you like, leave him here. Don't give me food. I don't care. I'm going. So, are you really leaving me? Did mama leave because of me? Was I a bad child? Hmm. You're not a bad child, my son. And your mother did not leave because of you. She wanted to be with another man. But I thought Mr. Otumba was only a customer. I used to see him every time I went to mommy's shop. Hmm. In whatever you do. Make sure you don't be with somebody that has a bar, restaurant, beer parlor, hotel, or anything like that. Because at the end of the day, they will leave you as sleep with your customers. Promise me. Promise me you won't have anything to do with that type of woman. Yes, I promise I'll never marry anybody like that. My boy. Because Brian. If you do, I will torment you from my grave. 
That was what happened. And then... That was how I lost my father. And I will never forgive the man who took my mom away from me. I went to help Samantha. It affected me so much. Emotionally, it traumatized me. And I would move from one neighborhood to the other to survive. But I had to keep to the promise I made to my late father. It was a lot for me to deal with. Only to the promise I made to my late father. I fought so hard not to fall in love with you, but my heart felt otherwise. Samantha, I know I shouldn't have carried all my baggages and clothes on you. It's wrong of me to do. I hurt you so much. I recognize it and I'm sorry about it. It was a decision I made when I was a child, but now I know better. I'm so sorry. I'm, I'm sorry too. I'm really sorry that you had to go through all that. But then that's not enough reason for you to treat me the way you did. I realize that the promise I made when I was a small affected my decisions. and But now I know better. As I speak to you right now, I already discussed with my... I told Glenn I was done with the relationship, that I can't continue with her. We should find a way to co-parent our child together. Some other it's you I want. Please, can you give me at least a second chance? No, Brian. You are not getting even half a chance, Brian. You mean this is why you hid me from your friends? The world? You were ashamed of me because I run a bar? Brian, did I ever give you any reason to doubt my love for you? Did you ever see or hear of me flirt with any of my customers? Hell, you are a rich guy. You could have started business for me. But no. You chose to treat me like shit and make me feel less of myself. No, no, Brian, no. Really, I will not get into this with you anymore. I'm in love with someone else, okay? I'm in love with someone who worships the very ground that I work on. So please, no. Samantha, he cannot treat you the way I do. And he cannot make you feel the way I make you feel. Of course he cannot make me feel the way you make me feel. He makes me feel a million times better. Brian, he loves me. He makes me feel safe. He shows me up. He cherishes me. He makes me feel wanted. He doesn't hide me. He doesn't creep into my bed in the middle of the night when he wants to talk and have sex. No, Brian. Leave my house. Please, just... Brian. Please, leave my house. Brian, just Sorry. go! Sorry. Sorry. Somebody, I will not get into this. Leave! I'm not going to get into this toxic thing. Just go! Leave my house, Brian. Just go! Leave my house! Leave me alone! Go! Please. But you heard the lady. Leave her house. I'm, I'm fine. You were just leaving. All that she want is just a nigga that can hold her down Tell her that she fine, treat her like a queen Then make her feel all right uh, She no dang care, she dang dang, she get sense The minus two figure, but it's so gorgeous I love the way her body looking so pompous Cups like the waves in the sea That's what I want to see Cause you're my fantasy, girl Well, after so much meditation, I I decided to forgive you and move on with my life. I will not deny you 
seeing your son if you want to. You can see him anytime you want. It's fine. I am sorry, Blair. So I've not seen what I had in front of me. I know you've been there for me from when I had nothing. But the truth is, I want us back together and I promise to give you the biggest wedding ever. I don't want that. I don't want that at all. You see, I loved you, Brian. I was really, I was willing to do anything you wanted. You called me plastic, but the truth is I just wanted to look my best for you and your friends and your colleagues. I wanted to please you. And in turn, I, I lost myself. I don't want to be anybody's second choice because the truth is why you're asking me back is because because Amanda turned you down. Yes, but to be honest, that's not why. I'm sorry, I can't. I can't. Like I said, you can see your son anytime. I won't deny you that. But you see, I... I deserve to be loved, to be cared for, to be made priority. Not a suck, not a second option. I'll do that. Sorry, I can't. I'm just going to go upstairs and get the rest of my things. Excuse me. I lost it all, bro. I lost Samantha. And I lost Blair. See, Brian, there's no point crying over spilled milk at this point. The truth is that I... I loved them both. But growing up the way I did, I... thought everyone will be like my mother. And so I was scared of committing to any woman. I know they both did not deserve the way I played them because of my fears. You were traumatized as a kid because of what your mother did. And your father had no right trying to get you to make that promise. What you need to do right now is heal. Okay, you have to apologize to Sam and Blair and let him go with all your heart. You have to move on. Bless says she's working in the US right now and that you can come and see Junior anytime you want. So take this time out to work on yourself and get back to being you. It's difficult. I, I... Don't see it as being difficult. See this as an opportunity to right the wrongs that you did. Take this time, heal and be a better man for any woman that will come into your life. I think I'll, I'll heed to your advice. Maybe I'll start from meeting up with them at least to apologize and um, move on. After which I will book an appointment with a therapist. She wanna just a nigga that can hold her down Tell her say she fine, treat her like a queen Then make her feel alright uh, She no dang yeah, she dang dang She gets sense, the minus two figure But it's so gorgeous I love the way her body looking so pompous Cups like the waves in the sea I swear I wanna see Cause you're my fantasy, girl oh, oh, oh. She no dang girl, yeah, she ten ten, she gets in. All that she want is just a nigga that can hold her down. Tell us that she fine, treat her like a queen, then make her feel all ra ra ra. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I, I. All that 
she want is just a nigga that can hold her down. Tell her that she fine, treat her like a queen, then make her feel alright. She no dang care, she dang dang, she gets sense. The minus two figure, but it's a god.